Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In order to compensate for the declining strength of its fighter jet squadron, the Indian Air Force has launched multiple programs which includes the S Mark 1A, the S Mark 2, MRFA and AMCA. The contract for 83 the S Mark 1A had been signed between Indian Air Force and HL in February 2021 under a 48000 crore deal. As per schedule, HL is expected to deliver first 3 MK 1A aircraft in 2024 and 16 aircraft per year for subsequent 5 years. HL has already set up a second assembly line to ramp up the production from 8 aircraft per year to 16 aircrafts per year. Now talking about LC Mark 2, it will be heavier and much more capable aircraft than the current LC variant and the LC Mark 1A. The Mark 2 fighter will be equipped with more powerful engine superior radar better avionics and electronics and will be capable of carrying higher weapons payload the mark 2 is 1350 mm longer featuring canards and empty weight of 7.7 tons with weapon payloads of 6.5 tons internal fuel capacity of 3.3 tons and mtow of 17.5 tons the government has recently sanctioned a total development cost of rupees 9000 crore including 2500 crore that has already been spent the rollout of lca mark 2 is planned by 2024 and a target is to complete the flight testing by 2027 setting the stage for its production and subsequent operational availability around 2028 There are many concerns and doubt over this timeline as it seems to be over optimistic. However, it is not. As per ADA chief, LC Mark 2 fighter aircraft development project cleared by government would pave the way for designers to develop an advanced 17.5 ton single engine aircraft. The development of new aircraft is to be completed by 2027. The S Mark II, which has noticeable structural changes when we compare it with the S Mark I and Mark I-A. However, the design has undergone series of changes and extensive testing for improved performance, better payload and aerodynamic performance than LC Mark 1 or Mark 1A version. A lot of work has been done in increasing the thrust and efficiency of the engine. These involved extensive multiple rounds of computational fluid dynamics analysis and wind tunnel testing. Earlier we have also noticed the design changes in this Mark II where the intake was moved forward for enhanced aerodynamic performance which includes lower drag at subsonic and supersonic speeds. The preliminary design review PDR and the critical design review CDR for this Mark II is already complete and more than 60% of pre-flight test work has also been completed which includes completion and finalization of cockpit configuration sensors antenna process finalization for drawing release procurement of raw materials availability assessment detailed design of various subsystems finalization of sops for the first flight the ts mark 2 general systems and structures are now being manufactured and other components are in development process hl has started building the prototype of ts mark 2 which is expected to get ready by 2024 as per former hl chief by 2026 all the testing of this mark 2 will be complete and the production activity will start from there onwards if we have to summarize the above discussion we can say that this mark 2 will roll out in 2023 or 2024 followed by its first flight in next one year from roll out all development and testing activity will be completed by 2027 or 28 paving its way for serial production Interestingly, the S Mark 1A production line will be free by 2029 end by which HL would have delivered 83 the S Mark 1A fighter jet as per the contractual agreement. After 2029, the S Mark 2 production can happen in full swing at rate of 16 fighter jets per year. At the same time, if you talk about AMCA, the proposal for the indigenous fifth generation fighter is currently with CCS that is Cabinet Committee on Security and approval is expected very soon. The design configuration of MK is already frozen. Its PDR is complete and at present the fighter jet is in CDR that is critical design review phase. Once CDR is complete, MK will be ready for prototype development. On 9th March 2022, HL began the manufacturing activity for MK in association with ADA with the commencement of metal cutting for titanium bulkhead for MK. 
the rollout of the first mk will be around 2026 and serial production from 2032 the expertise gained and technologies developed from this mark 2 program will help mk program which was recently even recognized by indian air force chief while indian air force has confirmed the procurement of six squadrons for this mark 2 it could order more than 210 that is nearly 12 squadrons of this mark 2 fighters in long term at the same time mrfa will take its sweet time before we can see some fighter jet being inducted out of this program even after the finalization of the deal the delivery of aircraft will take at least 10 to 12 years to complete with the rate of 12 fighters per year for example if we talk about rafal deals the first lot was ordered in 2016 and the order completed in 2022 that is it took nearly 6 years for 36 rafals considering this we can assume that delivery of 110 jets would take more than 10 years to complete as of now the rfp has also not been issued for mrfa clearly this mark 2 will see its first flight much before the fighters under mrfa starts to roll out if this mark 2 development and production begins as planned we would see their orders in much bigger numbers this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector